this time it is my distinct honor to invite our student speaker to the stage. Would East High Senior Bridget Upton please approach the stage. And could I please have the senior members of the choir report to the risers. Bridget Upton is the daughter of Paul and Kathleen Upton. While at East, Bridget has been involved in cheerleading, track, a member of the swim team, National Honor Society, and involved in the A-plus program. Bridget plans on attending Mizzou after graduation and majoring in biological sciences. Please join me in welcoming FCE senior Bridget Upton. Paper that's due at home, 
or just not wanting to get out of bed. But one of the toughest challenges we had to endure this year was the loss of a friend, someone many knew and many cared for. Savannah Pierce was a unique individual, and her spirited personality will always be in her thoughts. She showed us, though, how life can take an unexpected turn, and how each hour we spend breathing is precious. She showed us we should be thankful for how far we have come, and thankful for the ones who have helped us get here. It's simple. We could not have done it alone. We are here because of our encouraging teachers. We are here because of our comforting friends. And especially, we are here because of the ones who encouraged us to jump from that diving board, who guided our first steps, who unlatched our training wheels, and who kissed our heads at night. Moms, dads, and all of the family members, we thank you for watching over us. In retrospect, we overcame, we grew, and we have successfully prepared to make it to the surface, our full potential. The world is huge, and the possibilities are infinite. When we jump, we might slip, and we might panic. But remember, the paper you received today proves you have overcame and accomplished already. 2012, I believe each one of you will make the most of your undecided future and will enjoy the thrill of jumping into your own pool of potential, independence, and happiness. It's a beautiful day, class of 2012. Congratulations. Enjoy the vocal music selection, Breakaway, arranged by Tina Chin, performed by the Fort Somalia East Combined Choir under the direction of Mrs. Diana Grosh.
Jones, outstanding job. Senior choir members, you may take your seats with your fellow graduates. Now I'd like to ask Mr. Brian Bishop, East High School Assistant Principal, to come to the stage and help present two very special awards. These awards are voted on by the faculty of Fort Timolet East High School. The students who receive these awards will be given a lion statue with an engraved plaque to commemorate the award. The first award is for leadership and loyalty. The individual receiving this award has demonstrated the skills to be an effective leader by example, foresight, and initiative, and has exhibited the energy to guide others in a trustworthy and sincere capacity. This award goes to Michelle Pellegrino. Michelle plans on attending Missouri State in the fall and will major in secondary math education. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fort Sumald East Faculty's Choice for the Leadership and Loyalty Award, Michelle Pellegrino. Congratulations, Michelle. At this time, could I please have our senior members of the symphonic band join their fellow band members in the back of the arena floor. The second faculty award given out this afternoon is for citizenship. The individual receiving this award has consistently demonstrated behavior which is honest, moral, respectable, and ethical. This individual has conducted his life in a manner to be emulated by his peers. This award goes to Matt Couch. son of John and Jean Couch. While at East, Matt has been involved in football, baseball, student council, and National Honor Society. Matt plans on attending St. Charles Community College after graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fort Sumald East Faculty's Choice for the Citizenship Award, Matt Couch. It's my privilege to again introduce the Fort Sumald East High School Symphonic Band under the direction of Mr. Rick Padgett with the musical selection, Ignition, by Todd Stalter.
senior band members you may return to your seats with your fellow graduates. The class of 2012 is the seventh class in the Fort Tumult School District to have the chance to be recognized as graduating with Latin honors. Yep. Students who have achieved an accumulative grade point average for the last four years at East High, 3.8 to 3.99, have earned the cum laude honor, which in Latin means with distinction. Those students who have achieved a grade point average of 4.0, 4.19 have earned magna cum laude, which in Latin means great distinction. And the most prestigious honor is awarded to those students who have achieved a grade point average of 4.2 and above, as they have earned summa cum laude status, which in Latin means with highest distinction. As our graduates are presented this afternoon, you will hear that many of them have attained these esteemed honors. At this time, I would like to ask the Fort Tumult Board of Education and the East High faculty to please prepare to present the diplomas to the students of the class of 2012. These students have met the grade and credit requirements of the Fort Tumult Board of Education and the State of Missouri and should now prepare to receive their diplomas. David Daniel Ackerman. Cheyenne Marie Adelsich. Lauren Jean Ahart, Cum Laude. Marcos Alvis Alberto Jr. Alicia Albritz. Matthew Edward Allen. Well, I'll get this side if you want to go. Rachel Phoebe Allen. The Allens. Lauren Michelle Anderson. Brianna Jean Andert. Allison Cynthia Arnett. Jessica Jewel Bailey. Christopher Lamont Marquise Baldwin. Brandon David Barrett. Brian Paul Bartak. Sarah Elizabeth Bartner. Amy Elizabeth Bauer. Josh Richard Bauer. Tracy Lynn Benton. Monica Marie Bittner, Summa Cum Laude. Nicholas Paul Black, Cum Laude. Dominique Anna Borelli. Jenna November Thornton. Kayla Jean Bova. Anna Louise Bowden.